Derby 2 1 win tonight. What's your thoughts on the performance? Um, yeah, obviously, really happy to get the win. Um, I don't think we're at our best tonight, far from it, to be honest. Um, Gaff has made that clear. I think all the boys know that as well. Um, sometimes they're the best victories when, you, you know, when you're not on it. Um, you're not playing your best, you have to grind out, and the boys worked their absolute socks off tonight to get that win. We'll talk about the game a little bit more. Obviously, two changes made, young Tommy comes in, you know. An opportunity there to really go and express himself, and he did that with his first goal for the club. Yeah, Tommy's a great young player, honestly. Um, I think everyone saw that one uh, on the first game of the season against Chester. Um, he showed what he's about, um, and the goal just tops off the great pre season and the great start to the season that he's had. Um, I'm sure he'll get better and better. Looking at the game tonight, obviously, a few changes have been made obviously since the management's come in. You know, the boys seem to be more confident, picking up the ball in different positions, playing out from the back. Do you feel that when you're playing today? Yeah, definitely. We're working so hard every day in training um, to knock down what the gaffer wants, his philosophy. Um, he's made it clear and the boys are buying into it. It's going to take time. Um, like you saw tonight, it wasn't the greatest. Um, the pitch didn't help. Um, it was bobbly and it was quite long and heavy. Um, so in terms of playing out from the back and playing attractive football, it was hard tonight. Um, but we still try We still try to do the right things. Um, and on, maybe on Saturday on a better pitch, everyone will be able to see what we're about. So obviously we go into the first, first, second, uh, starting half time rather, one up, and you know, like we said about off camera, you've gone into it, and the manager's given you a bit of a hammering despite being ahead of the game. Yeah, because it was clear to see we weren't at it at all. Um, we were lucky to be one up, uh, to be fair. Um, I thought they were de they were good. I think it maybe took us by surprise a little bit because of where they are and you know the, like everything that's going on. Um, but like I said. The gaffers got into us at half time. You'd expect a reaction uh, in the second half. It probably wasn't there, but we had to grind out a result. And like I said, sometimes they're the best victories when you're not at your best. Um, they sometimes feel a little bit sweeter. Because of course they do find that equaliser just after half time. And again, we're pushing, pushing, and it's a wonderful goal from yourself involved in a number of players that gets us the win halfway through the second half. Yeah, I'm so happy. Um, I'm so happy to get my first goal of the season. It was so good to celebrate in front of the fans as well. Um, so hopefully I can get more. Let's talk about the move a little bit more. Obviously, you picked the ball up on the right side. A great little move with you, Corey and Alfie, all involved. And it's a lovely finish from you inside the penalty area. Yeah, I think me and Corey have built a great relationship already. Um, I think I've set up four of his goals already. Um, so I'm always, whenever I get on the ball, I get to him, I'm always looking for him. Um, and I've just received and I've seen that he's pinned the centre half. So I've just played a, a quick one two with him. Um, for what I remember, I think I just took it past the centre half and scuffed it. <laughs> no, I, I, well, it was a good goal in the end, but yeah, I'm happy. I'm buzzing. Really happy. You did a lot of that last season. You know, you burst into the box, found that goal that you know I think solid half the top of my head. You know, you burst in and scored that goal. How important is that for you to continue looking to do that and getting that run of goal scoring goals again? Yeah, that's one thing that I've really wanted to add this add this year. Um, I tend to get a lot of assists every season, um, but if I can start adding goals, get a, get some assists, get some goals as well, um, even better. Um, so hopefully, yeah, I can kick on now and get get a few more. Celebrating with the fans who've made this journey to come down on Tuesday night, it must be great for you to celebrate with them tonight. Yeah, so it was such a nice feeling, honestly. Um, and credit to them, There's, there was so many of them for, like you say, it's cold Tuesday night, long journey. We'll get back late, um, so hopefully we've sent them home happy. And a midfield three, a bit different from the usual ones, obviously. You, Alfie, and then Venno's come in as well. How have you found it in there, in there today? Yeah, obviously Venno's first start. Um, you can see quality on the ball. Obviously coming from Charlton. He was, we always knew he was going to be very good technically, um, so I think we have a good mix in there. Obviously, Alfie's probably his best um, his best part of his game is probably break, breaking up play, his energy, um, getting about the pitch. Venice will bring that quality on the ball, playing out from the back, and hopefully getting the ball into me higher up the pitch. Um, then, then when I can uh, pick up Corey and Moe and stuff like that. Of course, you push up high as possible like, but I don't mind where I, play. I started the game on the right tonight I then moved into uh, midfield and then I moved into the number 10 role um, I was having this conversation with them, but just, I don't mind where I play as long as I can get on the pitch and try and influence it for the team and for the manager and for the fans I'm, I'm happy either way of course you're hoping to influence it again with a tough game way to Stockport on Saturday yeah um, be another tough game um, hopefully we can use this momentum, put in a even well, put in a much better performance tonight uh, on Saturday, sorry, um, and get a result up there.
Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information. Click here for the next video, click here to subscribe.